Newsroom Africa's politics reporter Zian Dangobo is monitoring developments around the ANC Gauteng elective conference uh, and she joins us live now for an update in terms of not only what to expect but she's standing by to be in conversation with the Minister and the Presidency, uh, Monty Kungubele. It's over to you, Zian Thanks very much, Dudu. So uh, a short while ago I was telling you that uh, the, all the delegates were taken out and uh, this is because they are now being allowed in one by one. I'm told that it's only the voting delegates that are going to be allowed inside the plenary as the nominations process is expected to get underway. But as you've already mentioned, I'm standing next to Monte Kogubele. Not only is he, is he the minister in the presidency, but he's also the former Ekuruleni mayor and he also is a delegate of this conference. I think as someone who comes from national, um, you sit on the NEC, what is your observation of how this conference started? Yesterday there was a court interdict. This is now becoming a habit from ANC members to take it their own organization to court. Uh, you see, we have never hidden the fact that our organization is on a recovery path. We met in 2017, December, agreed that our organization needs to be renewed. So all these things that you see uh, are, 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 are bits and pieces and efforts of trying to actually renew our organization. And uh, I'm very much convinced we are on that recovery path because up to this point in time, the, ins the conference has been generally in incident free. The treasurer's report was presented, secretary's report was presented and adopted, credentials early in the morning were adopted. We consider under the circumstances of the recovery that we are going on as, a, as an incident free conference and I'm very proud of my province. At what stage is the ANC going to move away from the politics of personalities? This entire time it's banya banya, aduele. When are you talking policy? When are you talking about fixing the state of the country's economy? The cost of living is something that Banyazele Sufi also noted as, uh, as a real uh, uh, crisis. I mean, these, these conferences are not really delving into the issues of the day. That's why we speak of recovery, we speak of renewal. One of the reasons why we speak about renewal, there has been some shift away to compare elections to the essence why ANC exists. You must understand the fact that I'm saying to you, financial report was presented, discussed, organizational report. The fact that those two were discussed is about the essence of the organization. We, be, we hope that in future they can spend, we used to spend more time on the organizational report to analyze it, debate ideology, recheck whether we're still on course in terms of the national democratic revolution. We used to have ideologues. We are beginning to see the offshoots of young people. For instance, if you can look at the youth league now, leave alone some of the challenges they are confronted, which is mainly led by women throughout the country. They are beginning to demonstrate that we have got a lot of young people who are from university, who are beginning to take the center stage in leading the structures of the organization. Something we've been struggling not long time ago, and we're beginning to see women and academically qualified young people who are interested in policy. And I, I, I think, we are on the way when we're getting, we're like a, a human being, you know the old skin. As the old skin is moving, the new skin is beginning to demonstrate that it's actually is reconnecting with the old uh, ex reference for excellence ANC that we used to be. And I can say we're on course towards that. Might be too little too late ahead of 2024, isn't it? Well, uh, firstly, these, are, these guys who are contesting here are young guys. Um, there's nothing too little too late. English people, they say it's never late for a man to man. And I can tell you, all what our people need from now until 2024 
is an ANC that listens to them, is an ANC that spends time with them, is an ANC that makes, just recently, not long time ago, by the way, you show the, the, the positive indicators in the economy. Your, your, your fixed capital formation increased by 3,6. That's a major change. Your manufacturing actually stepping up. Your, your economy growing by 1,9. 1, 1, I can go on. A number of sort of positive indicators. And we are not surprised because uh, this president is leading, President Cyril Ramaphosa is leading an infrastructure-led economic what to call, recovery. Blended financing, working together with what to call, with the private sector. O already a lot of billion, multi-billion projects are already on course under the leadership of ISA, led, led by one of the brilliant youngsters in the movement, who is no longer just a doctor and who have just acquired the status of being a professor. These young people in the ANC are beginning to come in and they give hope as we exit we, the outer scale. We believe the young people who are beginning to come up, by the time 2024 come, people will see they are ANC. This is the, this is the people's organizations and they are not going to easily give up as long as it demonstrates shame when it is done wrong, as long as it regrets when it is done wrong. Regret is no longer enough. Mm. But turning around, sanitation, access to water, making sure that you respond, we turn around, we come with a clear plan on electricity and all those things. Once our people see those things, it's going to be difficult. They are not ready to trust any other organization, but we are not entitled to the permanent support, yeah, yeah. and we respect that. Right. All right, that's Montle Kukubele. I think the most apt description of who he is here is former Ekuruleni Mayor. He's a delegate of this conference. Not much to say after that. Suffice to say that he believes in the energy of young people within the ANC.